All right, I'm just uh, allowing all of my documents to be uploaded to my server. And I'm going to do uh, another test when it's all done because ultimately, um, page doesn't matter what it looks like on your computer locally, your visitors are only going to be seeing it off the web. So uh, it's very important to check that because sometimes there could be differences, especially if you had a, a MIM type issue like I did with my video. Um, my server wasn't a lot, wasn't recognizing it, so I had to add the MIM types for the video manually. Uh, okay, here we go. These are all now. I'm looking at all these pages online, of course. And what I haven't done yet. This is just like a quick. Uh, right now, I'm just looking at them from how they're rendering. Well, what I'm going to do as well is do a. Um, fat, try to validate my CSS. Now, you want to be careful with how you validate your CSS, and um, you just want to make sure that you're using a CSS3 uh, profile to validate it. So, let me show you what I mean. First, um, I always use, I love using the Web Developer plugin, but when I go Tools and validate CSS, now it's it's uh, giving me a number of errors. Now, well, the first is giving me a number of errors in the normalize.css, but I didn't write that file. I trust the author. There's a couple of uh, hacks and whatnot going on in here that are causing some of the errors. Whatever. I'm just going to kind of ignore them. Um, but what I see is that it's telling me in my main.css that I have all of these errors. Now, um, it's not actually accurate. I mean, these are errors. Uh, if because we're validating them um, against a CSS 2.1 profile. So what you're going to want to do is actually go to the validator itself and under more options you could pick a different profile and it defaults to CSS 2.1 at least the web developer plugin does. I think you could change it but um, well, let's address that in a second. But I'm going to copy my uh, URL and paste it in here. And now, let's just look at the difference. Um, well, look at that. It doesn't give me, oh, it just gives me two warnings, but it doesn't give me any errors. Um, it says here that that my oh my that my link is in my HTML doesn't have a type attribute but what it's referring to is this link over here but uh, in HTML5 they're uh, what I've seen is that they're trying to drop the type attribute in um, in links and scripts and all that kind of stuff so um, I'm not worried about it I'll, I'll leave that out I mean plus it's just a warning it's not a error but the other thing to note is that it doesn't mention any of these other errors that it mentions in the uh, 2.1 profile see the 2.1 profile says something about the you know uh, cosmic alien regular doesn't exist the font family well I know it does because that's the one that I manually uploaded um, same thing it has a problem with the source syntax for um, uh, for bringing for you know referring to the web fonts that are actually generating this cosmic alien regular um, let's see what else yeah background size doesn't exist in CSS uh, 2 that's accurate yeah I mean it's not causing me any problems but same thing with overflow X it says exists in CSS 2.1 I mean doesn't exist in CSS 2.1 but exists in CSS 3 so all those errors that it mentions um, I could just disregard uh, yeah okay uh, very good and actually let's since we're here I'm not sure I, I haven't investigated this till now but uh, by default when I click validate CSS the profile on my web developer plugin is 2.1 but I noticed that here we got um, let's see we got edit tools maybe we can uh, change this Let's see what it says. Profile. I wonder. Oh, look at that. Now, I have to assume, hopefully not you know, incorrectly, that if I just change the CSS 2 1 to 3, it's going to behave the way 
I hope it does. Let's just see. Um, let's give this a go now. Validate CSS and yeah. Oh, look at that. So it did work. Pretty cool. Yeah. Nice. So now it defaults to a CSS3 profile. Very good. Actually, since I'm here, I wonder if I could do the same for my HTML5. Let's see what this has to say. Uh, okay, I guess it's just going to leave it at what it is, and it's going to auto-detect it, which is just as good. Well, there you have it. I verified that everything is good in my CSS.